All right. This may ruffle a few feathers. It may offend some people. It may have a few people getting their knickers in a nut, but it's truth. I'm talking truth here. And I think we're being lied to enough right now. So a little bit of truth. <laughs> a little bit of truth can go a long way. So who makes the best prospect for you? Who makes the best business partner? Let's talk about this because I want to make sure that you're talking to the right people so that your business grows faster, so that you stop wasting time talking to the people who may join your business opportunity, but will never do a damn thing, right? What's going to help you build your business faster? Having people join who work alongside you and build or the people who kind of don't do anything, right? So I know there's only one answer to that, right? So I am Erin Birch. I help people gain the skill sets and the mindset to grow a successful business online from anywhere in the world. Right now, it's probably your home office. But anyway, so here is some food for thought. Hey, Angie, who should you spend your time talking to? The people who haven't done any personal development, their mindset kind of sucks. They are a have a lack mentality, right? They're the people that are always broke. They're the people who um, haven't had a lot of success in life due to their mindset, right? The people who are all like, I only have bad luck. Do you notice that? How some people seem to only have bad luck and then there's other people who only have good luck? What's the difference? It ain't luck. There's no such thing as luck. The people who seem like everything they touch turns to gold and they're super successful in like all areas in their life. Why is that? The mindset. They are success-minded people. You got the people over here going, I'm always broke. You know, no one in my family ever makes money. The people who have a lack of success in their lives, if they don't change their mindset, they will continue to have a lack of success in their life. The people who are very success-minded, who have control over their thoughts, control over their emotions, control over their behavior so that they're able to take action, right? Those are the people who seem to have success in all areas of their life, right? Do you guys feel me on here? Like, do you know what I'm saying with this? So should you be talking to the people who are always broke, only have bad luck, right? Who have the mindset off? Or should you be talking to the people who seem to have success in all areas of their life? Think about it. Who's going to join you and go and kick ass? The success-minded person. So in network marketing, where you are building a team, right? You're building an organization. What we tend to do, I'm guilty of this. I'm totally guilty of this. I would talk to the people that needed the opportunity, that needed it. That's the low, that's... Look at it this way. Why do they need it so bad? Oftentimes, it's because they have the mindset that hasn't allowed them to be successful so far, right? So you kind of want to be talking to people who don't necessarily need it. Feel me on that? They don't necessarily need it because they have success in other areas in their life. So I am not saying don't help the person who might be in need of money. Not what I'm saying. But if you're only talking to the broke-minded, broke mindset people, then you're going to have a hard time building an organization where you've got a decent amount of runners, right? So if you're building this organization and it's all people are like, oh, you know, they don't take action because their mindset is off, then you're not going to build a successful organization. If you're building an organization of success-minded people, right? Would you rather have a team of broke-minded, <laughs> broke, broken 
people or success-minded people, right? And what's the difference between the two people? It's not education. It's not where they grew up, you know, the wrong side of the tracks. It's not anything like that. It's mindset. It's all mindset. So it'd be really, really cool if, oh God, I would love this because I'm single and dating and I would love, <laughs> oh, somebody should invent this. It's like a sticker or a badge you wear that says, you know, I've done lots of personal development. <laughs> I would love that. So you meet a guy and it's like, they don't have that badge. It's like, I'm sorry, we can't go out. I can't go out with someone who hasn't done any personal development because I don't want to be your mama. <laughs> so same thing when it comes to prospecting, if you can spend more time talking to the people who, oh, am I making any sense here? Do you guys get what I'm trying to express here? I don't think I'm wording it very well, but talking to the people who are not the broke-minded people, the broken people who have all these issues in their life and no idea how to. The You want to be talking to the really positive people who have a good grasp on their mindset, who, um, you know, are full of gratitude, the kind of people who um, are grateful for what they have and what they don't have and even the bad things in life. Rather, you want to be talking to people who believe they're a creator as opposed to the people who are stuck in victimhood. Okay, that, that makes sense. That's it in one sentence. You want to be talking to the people who are creators in their life and seem to be able to create great success in all areas of their life rather than the people who are stuck in victim mode. Okay, that explains it better. That explains it better. You know when you're having a conversation with someone and they're broke and this is going on and this is going on. It's like, oh God, right? Because if you're going to spend time with the people on your team, the people you sponsor, the people you bring on board, you want to make sure that this person has their mindset straight enough so that they're going to take the time and the knowledge that you give them and do something with it so that you are not wasting your time. I don't know about you, but when I bring somebody on board and they're going and, and they want it bad, I work really hard, really hard to mentor my people. Therefore, I don't want to waste my time mentoring someone who's not going to do anything with it. Feel me on that? And I'm sure you don't either. Have you ever spent a whole bunch of time with somebody and then they do nothing? They're like, yeah, I'm ready to go. Just tell me what to do. And then you tell them what to do and you give them your time and all this kind of stuff. And then they do nothing. They do absolutely nothing. Why did they do nothing? It's not because they're lazy. There's no such thing as laziness. It's up here. They've got blockages, limiting personal beliefs, blocking them from taking the action, right? It's, it's, it's always a lack of belief in themselves, right? They're not enough, all that kind of stuff. You can't help someone. You can inspire people, but you can't motivate. And if somebody isn't willing to work on their mindset, there's not a whole lot you can do for them. You can't go into someone's mind, just so you know. You can't go into someone's subconscious mind and reprogram it. You can't go in there and, you know, screwdriver and all and do that. They have to put in the work. They have to put in the personal development. They have to be willing to reprogram their own brain. You can't do that for them. So you're better off spending more time talking to people who've already done the work on themselves. Feel me on that? So true. Anyway, I hope that helps because I don't want to see you spending a whole bunch of time talking to people who will never do anything that because they haven't put in the work yet, the personal development yet. Now, does it mean you don't bring them on board and offer them any help? No, I am not saying that. Oh my God, there's a time in our lives where we all need a helping hand, right? Someone did it for me, but I was willing to become the person who would kick ass. Not everyone is willing to become the person 
who will kick ass. Okay, so we're talking about the growth of your business. And you're going to have people on your team that just want a place to belong. That is fine. That is absolutely fine. Love on them. You've got people who only want to make a couple hundred bucks a month. That is great. Love on them. You've got people who, you know, want to make a couple grand a month. Great. It doesn't mean you only run with the people who want to make a million dollars a month kind of thing. You love on everybody. But you do have to be selective of who gets your time, right? And obviously, this is just truth. I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings. But obviously, your business is going to grow faster if you have more people that are taking action, more action takers. And the action takers are action takers because they've dealt with the mindset, right? There's your difference. The people who don't take action are stuck in their own way. They've got those limiting beliefs going on that are stopping them from taking action. You need action takers on your team in your organization for your business to grow. Therefore, those are going to be the people who have done the personal development. I hope that makes sense. I'm sorry if you're offended, but that's the truth. We're talking about the growth of your business, so there's no point in, you know, we're all being lied to enough right now, don't you think? Don't you think? I think a little bit of truth <laughs> nowadays is is a blessing. So I'm going to say it like it is. If you don't know me, I'm pretty darn transparent. No BS. No BS. That's my new tagline, by the way. No BS. No barriers. All birch. That's my new tagline. So now I'm going to have to get that tattooed. So I've got my other tagline here, right? Create your joy. Now I'm going to have to put the other one on the other arm. So I need another tattoo now. So now I have two taglines. So yeah, it's just the truth, right, Angie? It's just the truth. You're not going to grow a successful organization if it's full of lack-minded people. It's, it's just the way it is. It's, you know. Anyway, hope that helps you out because I don't want you spending. Like when I work with somebody, I find out what their goals are. This might help you. I find out what their goals are. I want to know if they're after earning an extra $500 a month or if they're af after two grand a month or they want 20 grand a month and more, right? I want to know what their goal is because that also determines how much I should um, push them, so to speak. Like if somebody is like, oh, I just want like $100 a month kind of thing. I'm not going to be messaging them and giving them tips, you know, oh my gosh, you should post this and all this kind of thing. I'm not going to do that extra coaching and mentorship if I know they're only looking to make an extra hundred bucks. That would probably annoy the hell of them out of them, right? And they're like, I just want a hundred bucks. Stop messaging me all these tips. Thank you very much. So I want, I will ask people if they want me to step in and give them tips and all that when I see that there's something they can tweak, right? So I make sure I get permission from people before doing that okay yeah because you don't want to you know you don't want to offend anyone right so i find out how much what a person's goal is ask them if they're open to me sending them voice messages and doing you know if they're interested in doing micro coaching calls once in a while and all that kind of thing so yeah because you're tired you have a finite amount of time and energy you have to protect that you can't get time back that's your most precious commodity is your time, right? So you have to guard that. Sometimes it means saying no to people and things going on in your life. You know, don't be that yes person that says yes to everything and then you don't have any time to grow your own business, right? You've got to be putting time into your own business. I remember hearing this just on a side note. This might help you as well. That when you're building a team... Your time, this is the, the ratio that I heard, that 80% of your time should go to your own business, 20% of your time should go to your team. Because one reason for that is you getting results will inspire your team to take action. You lead by example. And yeah, it's the fastest way to get people into action. 
fastest way to get people into action is if they see you doing it, they will do it as well. Okay. So anyway, hope that helps. I gave you a couple of tips there. Um, yeah, you got, you've got to choose where your time goes and make sure you're talking to the right people, which will help you grow your business faster. Okay. Anyway, that is it for me today. Um, if you want to have a conversation about what I'm doing, what I do, what my home business is, uh, what my business opportunity is, what myself and my team are doing, then feel free to message me and we can have a conversation, see if it's a fit for you. If not, that's okay. Awesome, you guys. Thanks for joining me tonight. Bye, guys.